Hi everyone, I would like to go through a few examples of trades taken on 24th of February and in terms of news, we had geopolitical news on the Ukraine that caused the market drop and volatility on the higher time frame is very high. Uh, so it was very significant uh, drop overnight and market open with big gap and in terms of uh, releases we we anticipated a few uh, news uh, per preliminary gdp quarter to quarter was important around 9 30 and then the rest was okay everything uh, give us time to trade after that based on volatility till 11 which is also minor news so so I checked the news okay and my psychology and resting and stress level okay uh, experience clear trading session hours clear and in terms of volatility let's check before market as I mentioned so as you see the range on a uh, 60 minute chart is, is shown here and if you see now the market dropped uh, finishing the last night session significantly from here it dropped very strong up to 200 points so this is very huge volatility but that doesn't mean it's going to translate to this trading session and we can still find uh, some sort of a smooth uh, volatility between and see what's happen uh, when the market opens so for now this is on the radar and uh, money management was okay and let's say the uh, I'm beginning to trade and I put just 50 here um, from previous day and my expectation is just to break even and improve these uh, uh discipline scores as much as possible and follow uh, filling this trading plan properly and learn and when i learn i should be able to earn and my statement should become positive so when the market opened uh, at the beginning we have to check the news and uh, get ready to reach the right volatility level area so these two were checked and at the beginning, uh, we, the market obviously was very volatile, slowly buttoned, and it found its way back to the uptrend and established uh, uptrend pattern. And as you see in the uh, macro structural chart, we had uptrend. And then in this area, then the volatility is smoothed and there was no news and the range of channel was around 32, 34, so around four, four point, which is suitable because my stop loss uh, is two point and my first target is also two point. So therefore going back to Excel file, I checked this then my macro chart I wanted to trade in high probability trading area so this was uptrend and as you saw the structural chart pattern was reached uptrend and my trading chart became uptrend and volatility in the structural chart was increasing so I was here expecting this to go higher and I had only one trade just to reach here not not looking for the for the runner uh, just acting as a beginner with a small micro SMP account that you can trade on a small account so therefore we know that it was uptrend and the momentum was okay alignment of the three charts okay we entered in this area which was oversold 
in the middle and also second trade I'm gonna just show you here this was oversold area so it's right entry was in the lower area lower one force so we can give something around 80 here it'll be um, and risk to reward ratio was okay therefore and uh, entry was also confirmed entry what I'm doing now I'm using the tick chart to do advanced entry uh, so we're not expecting fractal like here uh, which with, with in advanced format is okay and uh, you will you will discuss it so I got confirmation it's my first trade in a day so no loss consecutive loss and I got this score let's say this is 50 and let's say you rushed for example and you put this 50 still you get 83 and in terms of trade I recorded first trade here using my software output and now going to complete the second row for the second trade for the second trade still we are in high probability trading area this is uptrend macro is uptrend structural uptrend and we are entering here by seeing this here a good turning point in uh, area that we see return of buyers and so we entered in the lower one force and our target is automatically two point down two point up which is in the middle of channel here you see in the middle of channel so the range of channel is also okay and therefore we did everything right and no major no major news so these are again we have to check it as yes We can simply copy this and so a long trend good momentum high probability trading area oversold area entered in with good risk to reward ratio and good entry signal as a fractal we get 100 and the result of this trade is posted here and then we can go to our trading software and paste the summary result that is very important for you and coach to review later uh, that shows for example your person win average win to an average loss and also your win to loss ratio average of each uh, if you have lost then you it will calculate otherwise it cannot calculate and uh, profit and loss uh, this way you completed this section correctly that was coming from the two checklists that at the beginning you have to follow uh, and learn and later directly the way I showed you you enter this and when this completes this section is in fact here and you don't need to complete uh, I just put it directly here now uh, my session finished usually one or two trades at the beginning of the market when it's trendy and has good volatility and then at the end uh, uh, but it's sometimes late so this is a good time for me to trade and finish uh, depends on your time zone you may be able to trade uh, close of the market also that has good moves directional moves thank you very much for your attention and hope this helps you to 
complete the checklist properly and learn how to journal your trades and your account statement for the review uh, with your coach. Have a wonderful day.